A hacker starts blackmailing everyone. Hacker forces a teen to commit a robbery. Kenny is an exemplary young boy who works in a restaurant as a waiter. One day after a hard day at work, he reaches home and finds his laptop missing, so he goes to his sister's room and finds her using it. He gets a little angry at her for taking his laptop, but she tells him that her laptop is not working, and therefore she took his laptop. He takes it and she says it wasn't any good anyway, as it's freezing. She tried to use some free movies website, which got her some virus on his laptop. Kenny searches for malware remover software and installs one to help him fix his computer. But instead of getting rid of the virus, the software has hidden spyware that activates his webcam. Kenny leaves his laptop on and continues his everyday life. The following evening, Kenny installs a lock on his room door so his sister can't come and steal his things. When he gets downstairs, his mother tells him she is going out on a date and he should babysit his younger sister. Kenny says okay and she leaves the house. When she is gone, he watches TV with his younger sister. The screen shows a beautiful girl's photo, making him uncomfortable. He goes to his room and, after locking it, starts touching himself. Once done, he cleans his hands and returns to his computer. He gets an email that we know what you did and along with that email is attached a video file. He opens it and gets very upset as it shows the whole thing that he did. The hackers recorded him in the whole act. They warn him not to tell anyone about them and to share his number immediately with them. Otherwise, they will leak his video to everyone in his contacts. Kenny is very scared, so he complies with all their demands. They send him a message on his phone to wait until he is activated. And he should always keep his location and his cell phone battery charged. Kenny is not sure what will happen next, and he can't focus much on anything else in his life. The following day, he goes to work, but he is very nervous. Just as he arrives at the restaurant, he receives a message that he has been activated. He must go to a location they shared in a very short time. The deadline is very short. They threaten to leak his video if he failed to reach there on time. Kenny gets very scared but must do as he is asked, so he makes an excuse and starts cycling toward his destination. When he finally arrives there, he is asked to wait. A few moments later, a delivery man comes there and he takes off his helmet and then takes a few photos of Kenny. He says that they asked him to do this. Now Kenny realizes that he too was being blackmailed and he wasn't the real hacker. The delivery man gives him a package and goes away. Kenny then receives a message on his phone that he must send the code on the package. He sends it and then he is asked to take this package to a new location. Kenny is already exhausted by the long ride here but must do as he is told, so he starts moving again. He finally arrives at the destination which appears to be a hotel. He knocks at the door and says they have a package. The man inside tells him that he didn't order anything and when he doesn't open the door, Kenny texts the blackmailer and asks what to do next. They tell him to use the word Mindy and tell Hector that Mindy sent them. He does this and he opens the door. He goes inside and Hector starts asking questions about who he is and why he is there. Kenny tells the story of how he was asked to do this and the man asks why he follows their commands. And just then, the man receives a message on his phone and gets upset. They also threaten him and now he must do as they tell him. Hector tells Kenny that he is a married man and after so many years, he wished to experience some adventure one day. When he found a website with young prostitutes, he got tempted. He started talking to a 27-year-old Mindy and they exchanged pictures and all. And today, they were supposed to meet here, but she didn't come. Instead, Kenny did. He also says that if this comes out, he will lose custody of his children and he won't be able to live with this, so he will kill himself. The blackmailers instructed them to go to the parking lot, where a lady had parked the car and placed the keys on the rear left tire. They get in the car and start moving toward their destination. On the way there, the car runs out of gas, stopping at a gas station. Here Hector meets his relative and he introduces Kenny as his nephew. The woman asks them whether they can drop her off since her destination is on their way to the train station. They try to make the excuse that they are running late, but she is very persistent, so they let her join them. Since they were already running late, Hector stepped on the gas and they narrowly escaped a few accidents. They drop her off and move toward the location, which is just in front of a bank. When they arrive there, they are told to check the cake. They started looking inside it and find a gun, a pair of glasses, and a cap. They are then told to figure out who the driver and the robber will be. Hector says that since Kenny had already told him he couldn't drive, he should be the robber. He then asks what he is being blackmailed for, and Kenny tells him that they saw him masturbating and recorded it, and are now threatening to send it to everyone. Hector manages to convince him by telling him that he saw a documentary, and the bank staff is trained to hand over the money and don't resist. Kenny enters the bank with shaking legs. He goes to the counter and takes out his gun, asking the staff to place the lots of money in his bag. He is very nervous and he wets his pants as well in the process. He takes the money and returns to the car. Hector notices his wet pants, but doesn't say anything. 
Hector drives the car and they get very scared when a police car gets near them, but fortunately it doesn't stop and they are saved. Then they go to their next destination, a large field with a forest nearby. Here Hector is instructed to take the car and destroy it, while Kenny is asked to take money and go to the forest. They both follow the instructions and go their separate ways. Kenny reaches the middle of the forest and finds a man with a big bag. The man sees him entering there and activates his drone camera and he tells Kenny that he was asked to do this before they fight. Kenny has no clue what he is saying, but then he gets a new message from the blackmailer. They should now fight till the death, and the winner will walk away with the money. Kenny is not ready to do this, but when the man says they must, he takes out his gun and points it at the man, who gets very scared. Kenny is not a bad person, so he places the gun on his own chin and tries to kill himself. But to his surprise, the gun has no bullets. The other man realizes that they must fight, so he attacks Kenny. Meanwhile, Hector receives a troll picture on his phone as he arrives at his house after disposing of the car. He opens his daughter's room door and watches as she sleeps peacefully. He then goes to his bedroom and notices his wife using her laptop. She is crying and says, Mindy? He realizes that the hacker has leaked everything, and now he will not get away with what he has done. Kenny defeats the other man, and just as he walks out of the forest covered in blood, he receives the same troll face message from the hacker and gets a call from his mom. She is very angry. She tells him that she knows everything. He was masturbating to the pictures of minors. He not only killed someone, but he now got exposed too. The police arrive at the scene and he is caught. The blackmailers did the same to others, including the delivery man and the woman who left her van in the parking lot. The blackmailers made them follow their instructions and yet exposed them. This movie shows how we should be careful as our private actions might not be as private as we think. In today's world, privacy is a myth. We should always consider what will happen if our dark secrets are exposed. This will help us become better people.